Let's explore. Let's go fly. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. Let's go. All right, y'all. We are getting ready for our Great Wolf Lodge trip. And this is actually V's camera. She's going to be taking over part of the channel with me. Since and, I just got my new phone. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about what is needed at Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, so she's going to give the kids' perspective on the things the kids need. So, on the kids' perspective, if your kid does not like opening their eyes underwater and or needs glasses, I would recommend um, bringing goggles because there is nothing against wearing goggles, at least that I'm aware of. The other thing that I would recommend bringing is your own toothbrush. Your own toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, and a hairbrush, a hairbrush. You, don't, you do not want to be sharing a toothbrush or hairbrush with your family members because you don't want to share dirt. Another thing that's an absolute must that I think everyone should remember, underwear, pants, shirts, or dresses if you're a girl, a girly girl, <laughs> and a swimsuit. Don't forget your swimsuit. You'll also need pajamas. <laughs> Stop talking now. And here it is. Where? There's Great Wolf Lodge. Great Wolf Lodge! She's very excited. She has been a chatterbox for all the time. This whole trip. I'm sorry, I kind of missed you. Uh, Mimi and Pop Pop are here, waiting on V. There he is. Hop on out. All right, we're here. They are closed at eight o'clock. I got my daughter. Uh, right at five and uh, very shortly after work we came directly here we've got like 15 minutes to swim <laughs> so we're on our way in for our very first night at Great Wolf Lodge let's go she already went inside with pop pop I'm hoping there's a wristband for me somewhere <laughs> There she is. All right, I've got my bracelet. We're in here, but I have not put on my bathing suit yet. So let's go. She's already in the water. Those those dressing rooms have a lot less to them than uh, than what we had at Kalahari. But this is a really great place. We're already ready to go. And uh, let's let's have some fun. All right, we found one pool. Now we're headed into a lazy river. They have a kids area right up here at the front, and another kids area here. That is so cool. <laughs> she is all business, so I can't be too funny. <laughs> My daughter wants in the water. This is a much much smaller place than Kalahari, as you guys can see. Um, only one cabana to be used. Guys, I think this is the whole Lazy River. <laughs> that is a very tiny Lazy River. <laughs> I didn't realize how small this Lazy River is. Yeah, so this is a very, very small place for this. Now it looks like they have like a family uh, water slide up there though that looks like fun she's cold go on down that thing is huge she's just a little fish Do you like this? Oh, did they? Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow, well, they're they're wild boys, aren't they? They're teenagers. <laughs> One last pool before it all closes, and it's the hot tub. Yeah. 
too hot for her. It's 8 o'clock now, time to get out. They close at 8 o'clock tonight. I'm not sure what time it is tomorrow. Seems a little bit early to me, but I mean, it's what they have. Like I said, we only had about 15 minutes to be able to hang out here. So we got quite a few little things done today. We'll do a lot more tomorrow. Today is a lot more about exploring this entire place and deciding what we think about it rather than doing every single thing here. What's up, cool people? We are here at Great Wolf Lodge for a family vacation today. We have a nice, great suite. We are exploring every single part of it because we wanted to show you guys what we had here. Now, one reason why we chose Great Wolf Lodge over Kalahari and over Castaway Bay is because it's a smaller, more manageable place. And we have several smaller kids with us. Now, you guys won't see all those. You'll just see V in this video. But I want you guys to know that that's our reasoning why. So let's check it out. We're gonna kind of compare and contrast what we get at both different parks. Let's go. One benefit I'm noticing here that we did not get at Kalahari is you get free towels here. Um, that is not something that you got to be able to use. One person, one towel per person, but, and then you can exchange them for damp, damp towels for dry towels. Our hotel room is on the fourth floor. Are you excited to see it, V? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, How high up are we going? They have an event for the kids right now. Yeah. They're having an event. Something fun for the kids. Oh, yeah. We'll have to do that either tonight or tomorrow. She's very excited about the wizard stuff. Kind of uh, like the Old Faithful in a little bit. Now we have a whole family suite. So this is gonna be quite a bit bigger than most rooms are going to be. But this is for three different families to stay in. <laughs> They're already in here, so. Man, it's a huge place though. Lots of space. All right, they have a little bedroom upstairs and then they have a huge space downstairs also. And a little, like half bath, basically. Well, that's cool. Yeah, so lots of space there. Cool. Love it. We have a TV over there. Lots of space here. And a large space downstairs. Huge. This is just a big lofted area. We, have, we already have everything else set up. There's lots of space. Man. When you've got a family, there's gonna be stuff everywhere. Three families. It's probably worthwhile here mostly just to take the stairway because the elevators get really clogged up. I'm heading out to the car to get all the things that I need for my daughter. Oh yeah, we still gotta go down further. <laughs> So the second floor is really the first floor. It's very similar to Kalahari in that way. I'm sorry for drawing all these comparisons to Kalahari, but I just went there, so. If you haven't yet, go check out those videos because I have several videos already released of Kalahari. Um, so if you're looking kind of at which one you'd like to do, go check that one out. Now this is story time for the kids. That's pretty cool. All that happens in spirit They're doing a lot for story time here. That's pretty cool. What I've heard from other people and what I seem to be seeing with my own eyes is that this is much more kid friendly. That doesn't mean Kalahari's not kid friendly, but like this is kid centered. Let's say that where Kalahari is a bit more adult-centered. Um, it's framed around the things adults would want, like things to drink, hot tubs to hang out in, um, especially adult-only hot tubs to hang out in, things like that. That isn't what you get here. Everything here is much more family-based. Even down to the food, it looks, I haven't gone to look at all of it yet, but it looks like the food here is a bit more fast foody, where, the food at Kalahari is definitely more like upper echelon cuisine, even when it's like burgers, like the burger place that they have is definitely not just like 
your dad's burger. <laughs> it's more like a like upscale burger. All right, and we are on our way back in to Great Wolf Lodge. I've got all my junk and my daughter's junk. <laughs> Whole bunch of stuff, uh, along with some stuffed animals. Things that we will definitely use over the next day. So let's go. I think winter chill out tomorrow is gonna be pretty cold. It's already pretty cold. I think it's getting colder. <laughs> Although we've had a lot of evenings that have been cold lately. And then the mornings are, well, the afternoons are very warm, so. Here's some more of that kid's story time. Oh, that looks fun. A lot of parks closed, like I said, you're gonna have to wait almost always for the, um, elevators just sit here and look into the park really pretty much what we can see in the park right now is what actually exists and here's the room just take your wristband hit it uh oh it doesn't like me there we go Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part? Was this room better or the room that you had with mommy and uh, stepdad? The room, the other room. That one was cooler. Mm -hmm. It had like a bunk bed, right? Yeah, it had a bunk bed. But it was a, probably a smaller room, but it had cooler stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. They have all kinds of really cool rooms here. Each one's different. We're checking out if the story time is still going or not. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Some photo op opportunities, it looks like. Should we go look and see if anything else is open? Maybe a wand thing? They said it's downstairs right next to the water park and it closes in 10 minutes. So we're gonna go try to find it because we got some cousins that are sleeping right now. This way. So we might as well go buy some wands and have some fun with some wands while they're getting ready to sleep. There's a line for it tonight. We may not make it, I don't know. Right here's the entrance to the water park. And right here's the Magi Quest or Magic Quest or whatever it is. We barely made the cut. They won't let us out though, won't they? Nope, we're stuck in here for forever now. We have to sleep in here now. Didn't you know that? Of course they'll let us in. they'll let us out, yes. spending probably about $50 on one of these wands um, here at Magic Quest. she wants immediately she knew right away that this is what she wanted i think he does the magic you gotta wait for him Okay, 
so you choose a quest that you're going to go on, and then you also choose a name. What's your name, V? Galadriel. Galadriel. And from henceforth, V will be known as Galadriel. How's that sound? Uh -huh. <laughs> also, there is a massive arcade over here that you also can go to. They're having a disco party out here. I don't know, this looks like fun to me, not to you, huh? No? All right, well, we can go up the stairs. She's much more into this. No, 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 this way. I, I thought it was here. There we go. All right, it's starting. Okay, which quest do you want? Ooh, nice. Wow, it is. There we go. So, okay, we need to actually open up two lightning quests now. Nice. It'll be easier to do tomorrow also when it's not so loud. Okay, we're looking for the shield and it's in the arcade. She needs a suit of armor too. So she's collecting the suit of armor now. We're gonna go find that shield down the arcade. This is a good way to explore this place too. It did cost quite a bit of money. It was a little bit over $60, like $61, something like that. Not the worst investment for fun. And we'll be going to other Great Wolf Lodges too, probably this year, so decent. Keep an eye out. All right, we just found the big book. That's one of them that we needed. We found the shield. No, now it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Let's go up to bed. Now it's time to head back to bed. Was that a fun night? Yeah? Nope. You wanna do more tomorrow? Do you wanna get in this time? You just hold your hand up to it. It's right here. You don't want to? No? Yes? Okay, now be quiet when we get in, okay? Okay. There we go. There's even a skylight here, which I didn't notice last night. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're here for day two of Kalahari. Now, I am finding a few details inside the room that are not necessarily the best. Um, it's not like this is the loosest thing ever, but it's not fully put together either. There might be just a few little details, issues that you may run into. Um, and I'll point them out as I find them. Um, if there's anything like that, it's just worth knowing about. Um, not to dissuade you to come, but just so that you know what's actually happening. Couple other things to be aware of. There is no light up here other than the skylight, which I love the skylight. You do have lights down there. And of course, these wall lights you have. They do have some lights over here, but not much. But also there's only, there's only two plugs there's one here and one over there i guess there's three really because there's also a plug right over here right there so there's only just a couple of options for you to find all right it's 7 45 i'm on my way out to winter chill out but first we're gonna see kind of what there may be to eat in the lobby of Great Wolf Lodge for breakfast. No. 
I'm surprised that this is closed. This is where I thought breakfast would definitely be. But it looks like if you want breakfast, it's like the coffee house that they have. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts is your only option for breakfast. And that has way too long of a line. I'll stop at McDonald's on the way. I'm not gonna stop at Dunkin' Donuts. It's not like it's some sort of bespoke place to eat anyway. You all know what Dunkin' Donuts has. <laughs> pretty icy today. Just very thin layers of ice, which is kind of worse. Back at Great Wolf Lodge today. Main entrance is there. And there's dad. Hey. <laughs> In order to get here, in here, you just scan your wristband. It's kind of awkward to do. Much faster than using the elevators. They're very slow. These units have a really nice big balcony. We didn't get to get use enough of the balcony. Now, this one doesn't have the nicest view, but it does look right into the water park, which is kind of cool. Definitely a nice place for like on a summer uh, to be able to come out and have breakfast, something like that. And they do have some chairs and a table for you to use too if you want to drink your coffee out here. Here's my little mini vlogger coming down. Today I'm going to be giving you, you guys a tour of our hotel room. We have a little hangar area over there and a really nice bathroom. The bathroom here. It's right next to where the front entry is. Um, there's a nice shower in here. <laughs> uh, and also like a little sink. There are, are two beds in this area on the downstairs. Uh, we still need to get unpacked. Um, we have like a little dent living room area um, and like a dining table. That is actually a pull out bed. Um, and I've been wondering um, why there was a wood thing right there. That is a stair, that is um, the railing to a staircase. Um, most hotel rooms don't have a staircase in them, but it's, this is very, is a unique one. <laughs> there is a little bedroom up here and it's lofted. So say hi, dad. Hi. <laughs> and clock phone even a TV in here with a little closet area and uh, a very an informal bathroom that just bath um, toilet toilet it's just a toilet there a um, little sink not attached there is a fan. There is a fan right there, so. Yeah. And a patio, a patio too. It's a small little balcony and not much down there. Oh no, <gasps> hitting y'all there. I didn't really get to spend enough time in here, but it's definitely a nice place. Nice, nice room. Each individual area has its own uh, TV also. So you have like a little kind of sectioned off mini bedroom for a little bit of privacy. Another little bedroom area slash living room. This is a bed though, a pull out bed. 
with a, another TV and then also a fireplace, also an eating area. Everywhere in here though, there are very rarely places where you can plug anything in. There's like a couple of them. This is very much like a 1990s build. <laughs> they think nobody's gonna need any kind of outlets anywhere. There's an outlet under that table. There's only one outlet between both of these beds and then one outlet on this, that w wall. There is an outlet for your coffee maker or for um, like a hair dryer, things like that, but not much. You do have a mini fridge, so that's nice. A couple of bigger trash cans also. There's the bathroom. It was very recently used. Yeah, very recently used, but now very recently cleaned too. So this is much cleaner than the last time we saw it in this vlog. Everyone's left just recently besides me and V. So we're just kind of hanging out and doing a last review. There is an upstairs loft like you've already seen a couple different times. And this is where we slept last night. V's also showing you around just a little bit in this vlog. Say hi everyone down in the comments to hey. V. And then we do have some outlets. There's one on each side of the bed, but not much. <laughs> And there is also a, this is essentially a half bath up here. Um, so, yeah, which is pretty nice. Like V and I were able to get ready in there this morning. Um, so that's pretty nice. Lobby area. There's um, a wall, lobby area over there. The noise, all that noise is the, that. Uh, there's a TV show going on. There's a little fireplace in a Dunkin' Donuts. It's, it's not. It's not on right now. And there's really cool elk antlers. If you've gone to Great Wolf Lodge before, you can uh, you can go and it, it, there's some. And you haven't noticed this. This is something that you should see. Uh, there is wolves. They're not we're werewolf though. There, there's a little gift shop. Okay, so where are we going? Forgotten hallway. The forgotten hallway. That's right. We haven't seen a lot of the stuff here in the second floor. Seek a painting of the stone and a gleaming st sword. Where's the forgotten hallway? The forgotten hallway. So, if you look. One little tip, right here is gonna tell you where most of them are at. So you are on the second floor. Yeah. Um, and it's gonna be, most of our magic quest on the second floor is actually back around that corner. That way, okay, yes. sounds good, thank you. Yeah, Forgotten Hall, there we go. No, we're looking for a sword in the stone. So they have a whole bunch of different quests and each of these goes to a different quest. But you can still do all these and enjoy it. Hey, there's the sword in the stone. You have earned 100 gold. Sometimes it takes a few times to be able to do it. The man in the mist, okay, is who you seek. Then you might just suggest you, the man the you go back to the shop where you first started your quest. So the shop down at the bottom down on the first floor, which is where we're going to go swimming anyway. Right here, I bet this is it. No? Okay, so there must be another one, huh? What's it look like? That doesn't look like that, does it? I'm slightly annoyed right now because I know that we s selected a quest, but they just told us that we didn't have a quest going on. Uh, I'm sure we selected a, a, a quest yesterday, so. But we're gonna see what happens this time. Apparently we need to go here to select the quest. So okay, this is really not very user friendly. It's not just been me, it's been V also. We cannot get it to work. No matter what we do. There we go.
Well, we already tried the lightning and Ice Arrow and Master Magi this time now. So maybe that's why. Maybe we completed it and it just we just didn't select a new one. <laughs> is it cold in here or is it just me? To find four special elements of the kingdom. So I know what happened. We won. We got the other one. Because that's why we were getting points, right? We got all the points. We just didn't get our reward because we didn't go to the man in the tree trunk yet. Okay, the Enchanted Woods, I think, is right over here. Nice. Okay, so we found the lantern. Oh, unless, is that the chunk of icicles? This, is that the chunk of icicles? Oh, and fairies hard at play are found within the Whispering Woods. So probably this, yeah. Piney Path is the next one. So that's on third floor, right? Here, we can walk down here. Well, sorry, fourth floor. I said third floor, but feels like we're on the second. And then after this, we'll go swimming, okay? V, which one are we looking for? Piney Path. I think that's down here. Yep, there it is. Oh, you found the freeze room book. Okay, and what's the last one? An ancient talking, an ancient tree. Though barren and leafless, my branches stay warm. Through each winter snowfall, north wind and cold storm. Though icicles sting on each cold winter day. The freezing room keeps those woodpeckers away. We're gonna go down to the third floor for the old man in the tree. Yeah. Nice. You want a new rune. Okay, so I will say that I enjoyed, as an adult, being at Kalahari more than being at Great Wolf Lodge. But... Those kids could disagree with that. Yeah. I think, I think V is going to make me come back to Great Wolf Lodge over and over and over again, whether we're staying here or not, so that she can keep working on all of these quests, because you have tons of quests. So we're going to keep this, this uh, book with us for a long time, and throughout the summer, we'll be back to complete quests. It's kind of like Forbidden Frontier. Wouldn't you say it's kind of like that? Yeah, but, but just for some info, the, the, this is um, at the, at right next to the pool, which is on the first floor. It's actually below what you would think would be the first floor. Yeah. It's below where you enter from the front parking lot. Yes, and that's the second part. It's a bit confusing to me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely fun. First floor is where you enter the water park, which is where we're going right now, back there. So we're going to go swim a little bit and have some fun. And maybe but, even the first floor. Maybe. But we'll be back to do a lot more of this um, in the future. So if you're looking forward to that one more time, press the subscribe button. We do all kinds of things on this channel, um, including Great Wolf Lodge, um, Kalahari, <laughs> the water parks, but of course, a lot of Cedar Point, Kings Island, Indiana Beach, different places like that. So thank you guys so much for hanging out today, and let's go! Hey y'all, and the, and, the and the child's perspective of this. So... I would definitely recommend going to Great Wolf Lodge. Um, one of the times I went there, there there's a couple um, like hotel rooms that have like little um, kids, like little nooks, little caves, and that's what I had when I went with my mom. Um, and it had a cute little bunk bed in it. So if you get, if you 
um, get one with a nook, notify not your normal guy <laughs> about it. Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week, so press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also, check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again and let's go!